Bigfoot? Is it of our world? Hey Cools Paranormal, welcome back to yet another Cools Book Reviews. If you haven't checked our last episode, please go check it out. It was uh, Meg Origins by Steve Alton. Now this week we're going to look at a uh, familiar subject for those of the paranormal. It's called Bigfoot, Exploring the Myth and Discovering the Truth by Tom Burnett and Rob Riggs. So this book, it starts off like any other Bigfoot book you've probably read. It goes into depth about why they've gone into the uh, subject of Bigfoot and their personal encounters. Now Tom lives in the Smoky Hills and Rob is from the Big Thicket. So definitely you're finding some locations that have reported numerous Bigfoot uh, sightings over the years. So they are not the only ones. It's not like they're in rural New York or something in Manhattan downtown Chicago saying oh there's Bigfoots here no they're out in the wilderness where you could actually kind of see an ape surviving in the wild so yeah it goes into their early experiences and you see what got them into it also early on in the book there's a picture of a reported Bigfoot now the picture is small and smaller than my iPhone but from that picture it does kind of look like a bear they so in a bigger picture you can see that it's a bigfoot with the um, the hair it's been groomed and stuff so I don't know maybe hey if you guys ever watch this video I see me do a review on your book if you could send me a larger picture that would be great so I could actually see that um, but yeah getting into it you see some really interesting uh, different witnesses outside of just their own experiences they have third party ones um it's hard to say you know if everything was true but i'm not going to discredit them they definitely sound at least sincere in their all their experiences i definitely believe they've experienced something weird there then about three quarters of the way into the book they get into a subject that i've never actually heard of i'm not big into the like i guess bigfoot researching Usually what I think of Bigfoot is a giant prehistoric cousin of like a Gigantopithecus or, you know, a Neanderthal or something like that. Now, what they're saying is Bigfoots could be interdimensional travelers. They're still flesh and like blood, but they can travel between dimensions or they can manifest into orbs. Um, and they use this energy source that's commonly seen there called the ghost lights and they uh, they use that to so they use that to camouflage and they can also travel he says he has some pictures where you can actually see the balls of light turning into an animal or chasing off like a squirrel like it's going to attack it so throughout it also kind of states what they like to eat uh, corn seems to be a big one there's wild hogs deer um, they also fed off dogs, but they also say maybe it's because the dogs can sense them. If they do have this camouflage ability, the dogs can kind of sense that maybe and show humans where they are. And we, can, we know that from ghost experiences that dogs can sense ghosts and spirits like that. So, you know, anything's possible if Bigfoots do have this ability. Now, at the end, they kind of say they do believe it's a flesh and blood creature. But like they said, it's a whole new take on this that I've never really gone into. So it was interesting read to me. I've rated anywhere from about a 6, 7 to a 7. So it was interesting to read. Like I said, I've never really heard that, you know, they could be interdimensional things. Personally, I still believe it's just some unknown ape species, if they are real, that hasn't been discovered. And there's definitely some places in America, Kentucky, Texas, maybe even uh, Carolina's there with the Smoky Hills, that the Bigfoots could survive, and or Washington, up in north of, no, northern Washington. So yeah, it's an interesting read. Go check it out. They have a couple other books, so maybe we'll review those ones down the road as well, because this one definitely interested me. So I read about 7-0. Um, if you want to see kind of a new take on Bigfoot, read with an open mind. This book could be for you. 
And like always, check it out. Bigfoot, uncovering the truth.